2020, Democrat Elizabeth Warren's plan for student loan forgiveness is becoming a very hard sell for some financially responsible Americans. One father calling her out in Iowa. Take a listen. I just want to ask one question. My daughter's getting out of school. I've saved all my money. She doesn't have any student loan. Am I going to get my money back? So you're going to pay for people who didn't save any money, and those of us that did the right thing get screwed. No, it's not even like that screwed. We well, of course we did. My buddy had fun, bought a car, went on vacations. I saved my money. He made more than I did. But I worked a double shift, worked extra. My daughter worked, she was 10. So you're laughing. Yeah, that's exactly what you're doing. We did the right thing, and we get screwed. Lou, how does she walk away from this? Well, I don't think she does, and I think the fact that we're focusing on it uh, suggests there will be a lot of fo people also focusing on it. Uh, the man's right. Uh, he, if you're sitting there borrowing a fortune uh, as a student in, in college right now, in most cases you're paying, it's a subsidy uh, for indoctrination by the left-wing uh, ac academics, uh, and nothing more than that, because there's no marketplace. There is no performance standard. There is no metric by which you're going to be judged. And by the way, I think the most important is uh, how well are you doing after you get out of school? And if you walk out with $100,000 in debt, a degree in liberal arts, and are going to think you're going to have a good life, uh, buy a home right away, uh, you're, you know, you're living in la-la land. And by the way, parents have a responsibility to tell the kid, don't do it. They're yeah. perfectly good community colleges. There are wonderful technology schools. There are wonderful ways to get an education. But turning your future over to an academic institution in, to which you're indebted for $100,000 or more, it's a, it's a disgusting offense. And the irony is that this is Elizabeth Warren, the woman who is getting 300000 a year for teaching one course. Yeah. That's where your money's going if you're paying these huge fees. I really feel for that dad because it's, it's the people, yeah, and it, especially the middle class in this country, who do the right thing. They work hard. They take care of their kids. They do everything they can. They sacrifice like crazy. They compromise their quality of life to give their kids a better life. And they're not the ones who are helped out by these socialist giveaway programs. Or, you know, you look at the stimulus package and, and people who fought and scraped to keep their homes, they didn't get any handout from the federal government. But, you know, if you lapsed on your mortgage for three years, here's a check. So, yes, there is a, a sense of indignation and unfairness. And he's absolutely right. It's a massive welfare program for the colleges. Right. That's the bottom for people line. People like Liz Warren. And it's the a left scam for, for Elizabeth Warren and her friends because think about this. She's saying she's going to pay fifty thousand dollars of your student loans if your income is up to a hundred grand, and even pay money even if it goes up to two hundred thousand dollars. So you've got people who didn't go to college at all. Okay, this dad, I feel bad for him. But what if he didn't go to college and somehow you worked your way up? You're a plumber. You've got two trucks. You're making about two hundred grand. They're going to take your tax money and pay somebody else's college. That's a great I mean, point. think about the madness of all of That's this. Crazy. It's a payoff it's for the up. college. You know, they used to talk about right. the industrial military industrial complex. This is the college industrial complex. The least she could do is be more efficient about it because that's the hallmark of a, a free enterprise capitalist economy. Cut out the parents. Cut out the students. Give the money directly to the left-wing professors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've it's never heard her, by the way, talk about how they have to cut their salaries. They can keep getting $300,000 a year. Professors, it's the administration. I mean, that's what's grown in all of these colleges. Lou's absolutely right. There are technical schools. There's community college. And there's also, you know, the non-traditional route of not going to college and just making it on your own scrappy wits. Well, the good news is, is that those without a college education are actually increasing their wages faster than those with college education, so you don't have to go to college. Well, you need a higher base to start from. Then I get more excited about those, uh, those uh, statistics. Uh, but the fact is, no one's forcing you to go to a four-year school, get in debt. You've got a great education waiting for you in community colleges, technology schools, and by the way, work at night. And by the way, you remember the efficiency of the digital universe? Do distance learning. What in the world is wrong with the most efficient? I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It keeps a lot of those left-wing professors out of your face. Can I leave one more novel Quick, idea yeah. here? How about just paying your student loan? Right. How about what? Paying the loan. Find a way of doing it. Why? <laughs> if you take out a loan, you should pay it. I don't oh, think the taxpayer should pay it. You're being revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> you bought into it for a second there.